Hi everyone. I just thought I would do a little instructional video on how to set up for a clean straight calf. We will be using the MTG Kathleen 14 French catheter. These are pretty cool. They come, um, it's called a closed system, so I'll open it up so we can see and, and do all that stuff, but it comes with pretty much everything you need. Um, we do change a couple things out, and we'll go over that as we get into the video, but so again, this is the Kathleen 14 French. They make these also for male. These are specifically for females. They make them for males. Um, and they they have a completely different name, but they do make the same idea for, for the guys too. So getting into this, you can see I just peeled off this, this top here. And if you think about, we don't typically say sterile in a home environment, which is pretty much what these are used for. Um, we say clean because nothing's sterile unless you're in a surgical environment. So, but you wanna keep everything as clean as possible. So I've already washed my hands and um, I've peeled this back. So you can think of everything in here is clean and everything in here is clean. So I will typically take this stuff here and flip it over so that I have my nice little tray that is clean. Um, we use six cotton balls. So you can use your gloves to get the cotton balls out. Um, I will typically shake them out. They usually come out in a pump of two or three. I like you them separated in three and three because what you're gonna do is you're gonna, we use this Medline Remedy antimicrobial cleanser and we saturate three of these with that. And then the other three we run into the faucet and get. So the reason we have three and three is of course you do, you swipe the middle and then each side. And we will come in and do that with the antimicrobial cleanser and then You'll follow the same thing, the middle on each side, with the water cotton balls. You don't want to leave that cleanser on the skin because it can irritate if you don't wash it off. So that's that. And put that aside. There is another option if you don't want to do the cotton balls and the, the antiseptic squirt bottle. They have these. Here that would be easier, especially if you're on the go. Um, these are nice and big. These kind of remind me, if you open them, they remind me of the, um, the towels that you can get when you're going to wanna wash your hands off from eating ribs or something. And here's the size of these. These are pretty good size. So you can, you know, especially like I said, if you're out and about and you don't want to carry a spray bottle that might leak or worry about getting water, you can get these. These do not have to be washed off. Okay, so we got that set up. Your next... Your next thing will be to break down your little kit. Now there's a lot in here that, that we don't use being in home care. If you are out in a bathroom or um, you know somewhere that you don't have a trash can close by, it comes with these very nice bags that are pretty large and everything will fit right in them. They're pretty um, hardy. They don't get pinholes in them easily or anything. So you have that, which again, I, I don't typically use. You have your catheter. I am going to open this up right now so that because this is clean. So I'm going to take the catheter and I'm going to set this over here. Um, now normally I would do this with my sterile gloves on because this does come with sterile gloves, which again makes sure that you keep it nice and clean. So I would only touch this stuff normally with my sterile gloves on. But just for purpose of this video, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So you have this little 4x4, uh, four four, which after I do my 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 over here with the cotton balls, I'll go in and dry off and then proceed with the catheter. These are the lovely things that they send you in this. Let me show you what these look like. This is what they feel adequate to send in the kit to clean. 
I don't know what in the world they think you're going to clean with this thing, but we typically will either throw these away or just stick them in our supplies for if we get a cut or something we want to clean off. Um, they're pretty much the same tallets that we we substitute. They're just, as you can see, significantly smaller, and just, this is just not, I don't know how they can expect you to clean anything with this. Um, so and then the only other thing left is you have your gloves, your sterile gloves. So um, that's pretty much it. I'm, I do want to show you how to use these because these are, are, they were new to me when I first started this case and they're pretty nifty and I think pretty easy to keep a very clean field if you are cathing someone. If, if you are self cathing, I don't think this is going to be possible. Um, but if, if it's someone that is cathing another person, these things are pretty, pretty nifty. So hold on. So I just took this band off from around and it opens up to look like this. I'll just take this paper out. I'm not sure why they put that in there. But. So this is what you have. It's a bag with the catheter all nice and sealed up in here. Um, it's pre-lubed. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see the lube in there. Um, the cath is completely clean. So this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take the tip off. So this tip you put right up and, and actually into the meatus and then after you have that inserted you can then thread this up into further into the bladder the reason that they created this this way is because you know the dirtiest part is right there at the opening so if you can bypass that with this and then have the closed system so that it, it inserts once it's inside it will tend to keep your area cleaner. So we have had a lot of success using these and um, not creating any, or I should say many, urinary tract infections. Um, obviously when somebody's cathed over and over every four hours, they're going to get some type of infection at one point or another, but um, we're usually pretty good at two a year, which is, is exceptional considered how many times this person gets cathed. So, um, if you're keeping eyes and nose, this is very easy to read as far as how much, um, you know, how much urine you've collected. You can, it's see-through, so you can see the color and the consistency. These, I'm, I'm, I really like these. We also use the lipstick cath, which I will also put a video on how to set up. They're a lot easier and simpler, and I think much easier to use if you're going out and about. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be trying to do more helpful videos for you guys. And if you have any suggestions or questions, like I said, please leave a comment below. Bye.